know if you can hear the grasshoppers in the long grass. I'm about to release the horses. Here's the fence. Here's my co-fencer hiding in the bag. <laughs> She's scared of the big bad horses. Okay. Oh, it's so exciting. Look at all that's going on. Horses are happy. It's interesting, as soon as they thrump down. Shut up, Brindle, leave it. Brindle, Brindle, Inca, leave it. Look, they're in a paddock. Brindle, get back here, no. So they're in a paddock. So they think they're getting more space, but they're not for the moment anyway. So anyway, they're under the tree and they'll relax and put their heads down and graze. They've been grazing this long grass that was here and they pretty much cleared it up and they've topped all the thistles, which is excellent. So, and there's my assistant, my assistant watching the horses. <laughs> Scary big horses. So, the horses are over there. But down here are the electric fence disruptors, the two boys. So I am gonna try and herd them into another field because they keep breaking through the horse's electric fence and tearing it down. So I'm gonna try and get them up into the wind charger field. They've done a good bit of grazing here keeping an area flat. Look at that beautiful red clover. So, hey boys. Do you think you can go up the hill and into the wind charger field? Inca, come here. Don't you chase them yet. Let's just move them slowly if they'll move into the setting sun. It'd be lovely. The chestnut is doing really well. That part obviously isn't, but these branches are. Hey boys, move along. No, you're going the wrong way. Ah, no, Brindle, you be quiet. Now, I wonder if they will move. <laughs> you want to go play. Look at that. <laughs> I'm being distracted from herding the rams by dogs climbing tree. Brindle, leave it. Wait. Good girl. They're moving lovely and slowly. I do love that these have rooted themselves. so beautiful, all this grass seed underneath the trunks of trees. It's gorgeous. The grass is so productive here, I can't keep up with it, with the grazing of the animals. Now, they're up underneath the uh, hawthorn stand of Hawthorns. Let's see. Okay. They're coming out up there. Hopefully, I've blocked off enough of the top ridge. Nope. They're going the other way, okay. I've got to go this way. Through the Hawthorn. The little tiny itsy bitsy stand of Hawthorn. There are the lads. You calm down. They're turning. 
please go through the opening. Please, please, please. Yay! Yay! I got them through. Excellent. Yay! They're trotting down the alleyway as well. Well, galloping down the alleyway. Perfect! That's exactly what I wanted them to do. Excellent. Yay! Now, that's one heavy gate. This is a gate I made about 20 years ago. Still holding. 20 years ago, I made this gate. A little primitive. I always say, one of the things I want to do is put a gate post in and put in a really good 14 foot gate because this is the only access for modern tra tractors is up through here and up through here to come up here. I keep saying one day, one day I'll make, I'll buy a real gate, but this one's still lasting 20 plus years after I made it. with all the lichen, beautiful lichen. Lichen is so beautiful, so many different kinds of lichens. Yeah, I'm destructive. What can I say? Okay, I've got to go follow the rams now. I finally caught up and the rams are exactly where I want them, in this paddock. So I'm gonna close this gate here. They're almost feral. They've been on their own for so long. There's very little human interaction. They probably can smell the yos went up that laneway. But this paddock is chock-a-block with food. So they're gonna have plenty to eat. Plenty to eat. Look at that, all that rich grass. They even have plum, bits of plum. Oh, and a bit of a puppy tennis ball. Yeah, a few thistles, but uh, lots of clover and all kinds of goodies. So I'm gonna leave them in here to let them graze and let them get used to humans again because they're very nervy. Nervy boys. Cats. Love them at in time. I have to open the gates so that they have access to water because the water's in there. So I'll open those gates into the lean-to and they can go in there. Hey, Brindle, come back. Come on. Good girl. Atta girl. Look at all the white clover. Heaps of white clover. Okay. Come on, pups. Come on. Out. That's the puppy ball. Close that gate and open this. So they have access to, um, oh dear, there, they'll have access to the waters right there, and open this. Very mucky. Oh, so glad I got the yos out, and so glad the dung beetles didn't get to eat their 
Worm does shit. Hey, boys. You're very nervous. Yeah, they've not seen me very much over this summer. Yes, kitty. Yeah, how are you? You beautiful kitty. You beautiful kitty. Yeah. We're gonna have a lovely time feeding in here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, yes. Uh, my shoulder has been gotten on. That is what happened. Here, you can get on that fence there. Get up there. Good cat. What are you doing? So, that's tonight's adventures in shepherding, moving the rams. And they've got plenty of food. Ha, ha, ha.